Right, hello, we are a Touchline Run podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in this week. Right, a look backwards over what's just happened in the absolute madness that we is did, a football Christmas window. We did a list. We did a list. Um, the highlights of the year. VAR. Ooh, I like that. We haven't talked VAR for a while. It was, we didn't want to talk about VAR too much because we realise it angers people, but this week it seems like something that we need to do. So it's we're like a trigger word. So just strap yourselves in. VAR chat is coming, but you'll enjoy it. Then we're going to look at David Moyes. <laughs> Bingo. David Moyes. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at Man United and see you know specific points about there of interest that bit we of bubbly. picked up. Oh. Bit of bubbly and out. Music. Then look at the Premier League, see what happened while we were away since the last podcast. Where does it leave everything? Who's in trouble? Who ain't in trouble? Should have a little shout out, quick on. Go on then. Watford. Yes, damn right. Watford. Nige, glad. big Nige. I'm glad you brought Watford up straight yeah, away. Like yeah. That. Well, look, Nigel Pearson has done... They've had a really good run of fixtures. Uh, sorry, of results, not fixtures. Do you think old-school English managers are having a, well, look, a renaissance? He's got, he's got three wins and a draw. Um, Watford are off the bottom of the table. They are now a win away from safety. This running now, yeah. as you're juggling all competitions, as we've seen, we just mentioned, the FA Cup, you've got uh, Champions League going on, you've got Europa, and you've got to settle on the league. Another club I respect... Dragging themselves out. Yeah. I announced this as good tide ings. Okay. Because I'm just going to talk a little bit about Southampton. Have yeah. you got a jingle for that? No. Okay, so um, we all know, as fantasy football managers ourselves, that Danny Ings is on fire, lad. Yeah, he is absolutely on fire. Yeah. Danny Ings has scored the same amount of goals this season as Lionel Messi. The thing with Southampton is that they do something like they lose to West Ham, Southampton, and then they beat Spurs. If we're, gonna, logic if we're going to talk about unpredictability, I don't yeah. fancy either, either of our teams, Arsenal or United, going into this run. Because we know that at any point it could just all go to. It go, could, completely it could be tears. Any particular highlights of, of the football running over Christmas? These My little highlight. Them. Trent Alexander Arnold. Trent Alexander Arnold was majestic. It was a great performance. Um, it was a really good performance. Liverpool have looked continue, will continue to look dominant. 13 points ahead now. If they can still hand. look dominant now in every single competition, I genuinely think they could win the Champions League again, as well as the Premier League. They've won the Premier League. I think it'll become clearer that they're, they're obviously going for the league and they're going to be contending in both and yeah. they've got the mental attributes to go with that the far. League, Look, the league is gone. Liverpool are going to win it. Top. Do you know one of my lowlights? <clears throat> there are quite a few. VAR. VAR? Look, it's just rewinding what happened. It's not VAR's fault. It's Wait, stress you out. It, it has this, this period. Yes, yeah. I'm a full supporter of it. it. It annoys me, it bugs me when people have an issue with the technology rather than how it's implemented. Where else can you draw that right. line? Can Where I think uh, I potentially have a grievance with that system is if a decision is not given or it's a goal's been disallowed or whatever, and they go back to the three, two or three incidents before that to check them if it was a foul if it was handball if it was of the line yep. and all these these things add up if say a simple goal has been disallowed and someone has a word saying he's pulled up my shirt whatever we don't care if his knee is offside right. stop implementing it in such a ridiculously anal way absolutely <laughs> anal way absolutely anally fixated tonight but I cannot help it because VAR is not working the anal the anal the anal they need to stop implementing it so so anally, then I can't say it a different way. You keep saying that. I it's keep fun. the anal, the anal, the anal way. <laughs> Will you stop saying anal? David Moyes is back as a Premier League manager. I think he's using Trump tactics okay. in his in his press conferences. Please. We're the best. I'm the best. I've got the hit rate best. Best rates of any ma manager probably in ever ever lived. Ever They're lived. up there and brilliant and the best and the greatest. This country is great. Make West Ham great again. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make West Ham great again? Hats. Is 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 this the resurrection of the old school managers? I would argue 
that since Duncan Ferguson came back in and did such a, a really good job at Everton in a blood and guts kind of way. No, oh, come on. Fire and passion. Yeah, fire and Look, he was that. He's in that old school 4 4 2 motivation way. Four, he's yeah, got a contract he's got, for 18 months. He's got 18 months. I think he'll do brilliant in the first six. And the last 12 are negotiable. <laughs> Maybe season. we're too cynical and he needs to be given a chance. But I think there's a key component to, to getting that result. I think it was an injection of something new. Yeah, because Pellegrini looked lacklustre at best. I didn't think his heart was in it. Yeah. Didn't seem his heart like it. Uh, and Fabianski's back. He's been absolutely huge. He's been, he's, he is the only like option for West Ham right now. Same as the Renaissance. The section. It, look, it's the big sound. So you're sound using Renaissance? low risk Kyra Wood for the owners because yeah. if he goes quietly in the night no one's going to really shed a tear they? if no. the, it provides a platform and if he, it's a chance for him to get his career back on the road again which he has with his first win which was a, a very effective Ford and win so yeah. look you can't you can't write him off considering his history I just think he's he, he's a bit all over the place with but his I think tactics I don't know he could rule the world I don't know um, what is his section he's, he's the greatest Great, great. It's done. Make West Ham great again. Can I give you a name? Yes, which, right. which I think should go into kind of club. Yeah, go on. Paul Pogba. Yeah. Why? You agree with that? No. Um, <laughs> because. No, I don't agree with that. In Pogba any way, makes anti-racism wristbands and gives them out to people, okay. especially in in the last couple of weeks. I've seen the influx of that. Okay, look, he for that aspect, yes, he does deserve to be in there. Thank you. Is he, are you saying he's in Kind Club? For that reason, he right, follows okay. all of the criteria for our Kind Club, so yeah, fair enough. Why am I against Paul Pogba? Because he needs to surgically remove his agent. Thank you very much to Bertie the Bunny for rejoining the, uh, the troop, making it all the way to ITV West Country News, shout out. Why was that? Uh, left on the train, recovered. Amazing. Don't worry. Bertie the Bunny, part of the uh, Touchline Run fan. Thank you very much to Bendy Gedig Media, our producers. Always. Uh, our producers of this show. Uh, thank you very much to the house band, uh, Ivan Hope Band. Ivan band. Thank you very much for the New Year's Eve party last night, which is the reason we couldn't come on. Um, they're loud, those boys. Is that it for this week? Uh, yeah. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Uh, See you next week. Uh, 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 uh,